give all you Remnant 2 fanboys a moment of reprieve for your collective elbows and wrists because Papa's just had a bad day and gunfire burnt the lasagna. Remnant 2 is a good action game. Dare I even say for the first six hours, this is a fun game. Uh, you think we home? Hello? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> around the point where I reached the final boss toting my very same starting weapon after searching through every crevice and every fold of every level lifting up fucking dust and magnifying atoms to find a singular weapon only to find another fucking ring did I realize that this game is a failure of an RPG. And before I get into the review, let me just decide for a second. The opening of this game being this cocky chick saving my life, quipping about it, then flash cut to her holstering her weapon in the middle of combat forcing me to shoot around her as she stares at me like my Patrick Bateman and takes the cake and some of the goofiest shit I've ever seen. And you can quote me on that. Well, let's kick this off by remembering the good times, shall we? This game's shooting does feel very nice. Shotguns go... You can feel the impact, and it is appreciated that enemies will fall or stumble depending on where you shoot them. It's buttery smooth, and granted, co-op and on level 1 difficulty, it's not tedious killing enemies. I mean, melee is shit, and it doesn't even have lock-on. But the flamethrower class? Oh my god. This is unquestionably the best thing since God created the Ford Fiesta. It is smooth as hell to use, and as long as you quote your Vietnam movie of choice while using it, I will use it to engulf you in flames and watch you burn with the other Xenosum. Then add the palm gibbet onto your primary on top of that and bobs your ptsd ridden uncle you might just accidentally have fun in this titty twister of a game hey you know what it's such a nice moment we're having right now i'm not even gonna tell you what it takes to get the engineer class let's just let's just enjoy this for a second okay <sighs> your mom still being a bitch <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Next, these bosses are very unique, very nice, incredible. This tube right here, oh boy. What a great boss. Are hey, you gonna cop behind my back when you dead ass build like- Listen, I, I did what I could, the rest is up to you. And now keep your arms tucked in and wait for the bar to secure you because we're going off the deep end. I can't hold it back any longer. I like two and a half of the maps in this game, but this desert half right here can go to hell. The reason you need co-op in this game, besides having a good reason to ignore the awful dialogue spam of our very vocal protagonist, is so that you can canvas this big empty map twice as fast using a search party like I'm looking for some lost kin. A big empty map, by the way, that is boxed in with a poison fog that slows you down, makes you vomit, and then swiftly kills kills you. I think I'm immune. Yo, bro, I'm immune. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm walking through a grimace shake, except without it being even remotely entertaining. And then what they don't tell you, all, <laughs> what they don't tell you, is that within an unmarked place within the grimace shake, that's where the Nam class lies, and I was I, and I was gonna spoil how to find it for you, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep this game secret and My inflict pain that pain upon as many shot. others as I possibly can. And <laughs> don't use the wiki. Don't be a little Bitch. Now that does lead me to my next point, though. This game's progression is completely fucked up. Or in more civil words, it is needlessly complex because they decided to make every piece of Major Gear a secret so deep that it would make the feds blush. Instead of this RPG having enemy drops, chests, or set spawns that allow you to find gear as you progress through the levels naturally, it has secrets. And, and although some secrets you can logically piece your way through to get the shitty weapon that they lead to, there are a massive amount of them that are so incredibly secret that you wouldn't even know they exist without your browser gagging on wiki windows. Think I'm exaggerating? To get the grenade launcher, you have to kill a rat in a pipe and wait 60 real-life minutes at that pipe for the room to fill up with water so that you can get to the other side of the wall. Not enough? In Remnant 1, the Tommy gun is behind a door that you just need to do a mission to get the key that unlocks the door. In Remnant 2, you need a fucking PowerPoint to find your way to a random room buried in the ass crack of the labyrinth. <sighs> And it isn't even on Earth anymore, not, not even that part even makes sense. It's in the fucking rock dimension. And I heard about another piece of gear that unlocks by killing enemies in certain weather conditions on a specific map, while also probably keeping one eye on real-life fucking weather formations, <gasps> waiting for a tornado watch to come into my area, then going and fucking myself with exactly five thrusts when the moon is full while blasting Phil Collins in the air tonight, and for that reason I'm out. Who the fuck would make such a stupid goddamn... Hang on. No, it can't be. No, 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 Kevin is sure no, 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 what the what the no, 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 no,
Many thanks to the flock of pimps for fun in this video, and a huge thanks to all the pimperers for supplying me with endless rails of coffee so that I can put up with this game's bullshit. And with that being said, welcome to the new pimperers, Nikki P, all damn gains, and what kind of needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, bye.